Now, what if I told you that you can make the world a better place? Welcome one and all to our presentation on the good deeds that we have done during our time here in Polytechnic Kuching Sarawak. First up, I would like to introduce my fellow group members. We have Rene Manantika Anagret as our group leader, followed by Dominic Aur Anak Jonas, Melvin Anak Meling, and me myself, Webin Liban Anak Bikijali. First of all, we need to understand the meaning of a good deed. What is a good deed? Well, it can be defined as a good act or gesture, like helping those who are in need. It can also be defined as a notable achievement, like finding the cure to cancer or in recent news, COVID-19. Now here's the best part, it can be done in many ways. Now, you might be wondering, why are we doing this? Well, we aim to learn the importance of being kind to others. Ladies and gentlemen, as we look around, we see a lot of bad things happening around the world. Racism, injustice, suppression, I can go all day. Thus, doing good things, no matter how small it is, can lift people's spirit and restore a little bit of faith in humanity. We also aim to help those who are in need, especially during this time of the year where the economy is not in a good shape. So, enough of me talking. I'm going to pass this slide to our next speaker, Dominic. Hello guys, my name is Dominic Awana Jonas and right now, let us move to the first date of this video. The first date that we have done is cleaning the area of Poliku Park, Polytechnic Kuching Sarawak. We carry out this good deed on 27th September 2020 by the time 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. This activity will have good impact to all polytechnic residents. A park that is clean and well maintained offers a safe and enjoyable place for people to visit for sporting activities or just relaxing. Keeping this park clean can be every student's or visitor's job, which helps contribute to a more welcoming park atmosphere. Through this good deed, we can prevent spread of diseases. Well, a simple example is dengue disease. As we can see, if there are a lot of rubbish such as aluminum can or water bottle scattered around the park, they can store stagnant water where mosquitoes usually breed. It can endanger the residents in Polytechnic if they are affected by this kind of disease. So, why not we? Do it first for the benefits of all because prevention is better than cure. As you can see, these pictures show our efforts to implement the good deed. We pick up a lot of rubbish scattered around the park and threw them into the nearby rubbish bin. So let me know guys, what are the good deed that we can make in this such area? So let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys for listening and I'll be passing the next good deed to our group member, Brony Malantika Anagret. Thank you. Okay. Hello everyone. My name is Brony Malantika Anagret and today I want to talk about our second good deeds. So for second good deeds, so that we are trying to help some of our classmates seem struggling in class. We begin to help our classmate after we had a lunch time together and then we start at his room which is next to my group members room so as you can see from the pictures there has been so my group member are trying to help our classmate to, to resolve the mathematics question which is very complicated to solve it especially on trigonometry uh, topics and in the end my classmates become very confident after we help him to resolve this problem so in the end of this second good deeds there are some of values that we can take from it since learning can be overwhelming sometimes especially we are learning something new so we need to help our friends who are struggling in class so that they can keep it up. It will not hurt us if we help someone else. Instead, what goes around comes around. So that's all from me and I want to pass this presentation 
to the third speaker which is Webian Liban anak Ricky Jalin Hello guys so I am back to present the third good deed that we have done so on the 18th of October 2020 we decided to clean the mosque we cleaned the mosque at around 7 a.m. to 11:30. As we all know, a place of worship should always be clean so that the people who use it is comfortable. Imagine if it is dirty, people will give a bad look towards the place. As you can see in the pictures, we were asked to clean the pond, although it is hot, but we had a lot of fun. Next up, we will have Melvin as our fourth speaker to continue this presentation. Thank you. Hi. My name is Melvin Anamali and I'm going to be the fourth speaker for this presentation. For the fourth point is donate item or money to the homeless person. We did this good deed at the public area where we go outside and find a homeless person to help with and we did this good deed on 10 October. It takes time from 10 am till 12 pm. We did this for community and the value that we learned from this activity or the good deed that we did on that day that we need to help the those who are in need because we never know how much they have been struggled out there along the street. As you can see, this is the picture of we helping the homeless person. In the white shirt, that is me handing a food and drink to the homeless person and my friend Fabian is handing a mask to the homeless person and my dear other friend Dominic handing out a clothes for the homeless person. And last but not least, this is a feed point for our good deed. That is adopting a stray animal. This place took on a public area. It that was 8 October 2020. It took time from 1 pm to the 2 pm and the good deed is for the community. The value that we learn from this last good deed is not only we can help human, but we can help animal because animal have a feeling too, and they can be adopted. We can give them food, giving a shelter. So, as you can see, this is our picture taking care of the stray cat that we found outside of the polytechnic. That is my friend, Fabian and Dominic giving out the food for the cat and that is me provide box for the cat to live on next I'm gonna pass the slide to Ronnie Malatika hello guys it's me again okay for conclusion for this five good deeds is in a nutshell doing good deeds is not going to hurt or burden us instead it can boost, boost our spirit and restore a little bit of faith in humanity. Benefit of doing good deeds is countless, so why not spend a little time to be kind to one another and make the world a happier place after all. If you are willing to help others, who knows when you will need their help. As this saying goes, what goes around counts around. So, thank you. you okay? So that's all for our video today. I hope you really liked it. If you liked it, like the button below. Subscribe also. Thank you very much.